first step in Carl Fisher is knowing what supplies you need to run a Carl Fisher test. And um, the first thing is you're going to have to have your reagents. <coughs> you're going to have a Hydronol AG cooler mat for the vessel that goes into the vessel. Um, you are also going to have Coolamet CG, which is the catholite, and in the case of a dual reagent um, setup, a dual reagent generator electrode, you're going to uh, require this additional reagent. In addition, a water standard for t checking your Carl Fisher uh, moisture for accuracy is also recommended. In addition, you'll need a syringe so you can deliver the sample. Uh, this is a gas type Hamilton syringe. And that, those are the items for what you will need to conduct a test. Now, first as a standard generator electrode, uh, you've got a desiccant tube, and you've got a number of ports on the top and on the side. And this one ha has a drain valve. Uh, this particular port here houses the generator electrode, which looks like this, and as you can see it has uh, metal on the bottom here and uh, it has some fluid inside. And that sticks down inside the vessel. The other um, electrode that goes into this is the detector electrode. And you can see the two prongs here are kind of close in this one. It's kind of close. Actually, they should be apart. There we go, that's a little better. So, okay. And then we have a port here, and this is the port for doing your manual injection. So that's your generator, uh, uh, your vessel. Now, to charge your vessel, we're going to introduce the reagent into the vessel, up to the first line. Yes, there that is. Okay. And in the case of the generator electrode, typically we would use this CG here in these ampules. And we would pop the top and we would pour that into the top of the generator electrode like this. This has currently some in it, so we're okay. Okay, so now, and then we have our desiccant on top. So now that the vessel is charged, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it on the stand. And we'll plug in the leads. This is the jig generator. That up, gonna do it. And they're both connected. Okay. So at this point we can go ahead and we can begin a pre-titration phase. And you'll notice that the stir bar does start to stir, and the instrument begins to uh, take out the moisture inside the vessel.